Hello there, my name is Jack Sweeney. I am a 15-year-old high school student who lives here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm, this concert is going to be a little different than the ones I've done before, and in that it's going to have a couple different themes. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, I am so glad you're here. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope I can provide a little bit of joy in your life today. For those of you who have been here before, I also welcome you, and I hope that I can bless you and encourage you to come to my next performance whenever that is going to be. Today's concert is going to be, as I said, a little bit different than normal in that there's going to be a couple of different themes. So we're going to get started in my concert. We're going to be playing a few classical selections. Uh, I'm sure you've heard them before, but I would like to perform my renditions of them. And then we're going to move from the classical pieces to some Mother's Day pieces. And while these songs aren't necessarily about Mother's Day itself, they are pieces that my mother and my grandmothers enjoy. So that is what we're going to do today. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Let's get into the first piece. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that one. That one was Jupiter by Gustav Holst. The next piece I'm going to play for you is the fourth movement from Dvorak's New World Symphony. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed that one. That was the fourth movement from Dvorak's New World Symphony. We come to the time in the performance where I'm going to be shifting to more Mother's Day music or pieces or songs enjoyed by my mother and grandmothers. This next piece or song I'm going to be playing for you is Oh the Deep Deep Love of Jesus. This is one of my mom's favorites and I think it's rather ironic because my mom loves it and I'm playing it for this Mother's Day concert because 
mothers show Jesus' love to their children. Mothers show Jesus' love for Jesus' creation and how Jesus loves all of his creation. And mothers reflect that love to the children and people around them. So that is why I will be playing Oh the Deep Deep Love of Jesus for you today. That was oh, the deep, deep love of Jesus, and I hope you enjoyed that one. Now, I know I did just say that we're coming to the time in the performance where we're going to be shifting to Mother's Day theme music or songs enjoyed by my mother and grandmothers, and we are, but I'm going to make a slight detour in the performance and shift our focus back towards Easter. To do that, I'm going to be playing the famous Easter hymn, Crown Him with Many Crowns. Thank you for watching this, and I promise we will get back to more Mother's Day music after we take care of Easter. That was Crown Him with Many Crowns. We are going to move on with our Mother's Day music and go to Great Is Thy Faithfulness. That is one of my grandmother's favorite songs. I hope you enjoy it. And one more time, it is Great Is Thy Faithfulness. <laughs>
was great is thy faithfulness we are going to come to another one of my other grandmother's favorite songs it is onward christian soldiers i hope you have enjoyed this concert there's going to be one more song after onward christian soldiers and then it will be done so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy all of it Well, we come to the final piece in this, this time's concert. The final song I'm going to play might seem unusual, but it is Danny Boy or London Dairy Air. The reason I picked this song is because there has been some controversy over what this song means or what its lyrics mean or what its historic reference or historical value is. And there are many theories about what the song is about. There's no one clear theory that jumps out as, oh, it's definitely this one. And the author himself didn't exactly say what he was writing about. But the most compelling argument that I saw was that it is a mother or a parent longing for her child to come back. And although this is a sad one, I do believe this is a good one to end on because it closes things out nicely. Thank you for joining this concert. I hope to see you next time, maybe sometime in August. And I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.
of that piece concludes our concert. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it thoroughly. I would like to give you a little bit of a sneak peek into next concert. I'm going to give you sometime in August probably. It is going to include somewhat of a project that I've been working on for several months now. It is the, a Vivaldi cello duet in G minor. And although I'm sure you can look it up and listen to it on your own, and I encourage that you do, it is, I highly recommend it. I'm going to be giving my rendition of it, performing it with myself, and I hope you enjoy it. So until next time, I'll see you later.